Okay, so we're back and we've got an example of a 1080p here video playing on the tablet and that's playing pretty flawlessly as you can see. No snags there. And that's the power of Tegra right there, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm, I'm just going to kind of fast forward to a different portion of the movie where it's uh, a little more action going on a little bit faster. So you get the real good feel for the full frame rate that we're delivering here. How many frames per second is this? So again, this is full 1080p, 30 yep. frames per second. Wow. And so right now we're playing it on this screen that's 1024, 600 wide, but there's an HDMI port built into uh, the Tegra processor that we could just as easily plug into a big screen TV, play a full resolution, um, just like on this Zoom HD that yep. I've got right here, that you know, basically the output is going to this big screen TV. So inside the Tegra processor, there is a big screen experience lurking inside there just waiting to get out. And that, that's hooked up to the TV here, as you can see. That's hooked up. And we're seeing and, Toy Store on a massive screen here. And, and just to show that it's the, it's really the real thing, I'll take the Tegra out of the dock and it's and you know, it gone. Right. Yeah. And I should be able to plug it back in, and I will have to start it back up with this processor, I mean with this remote control. So we've got the UI on the screen. Yeah. Screen experience, uh, again, a uh, good browsing experience. With so Androids. Wanna, so, want to be able to uh, go into the browser, and you know, the, the test is always you know, when you load a page, how quickly does it get there? Oops, no network connection. This should be here. Let me ignore that and just say that uh, there's a network connection because I'm pretty sure it's here. Okay. So it's loading up MSN.com. You can see the little indicator bar going across the top. Yeah. And even once, even before the page is fully loaded, we can start kind of interacting with this. You see the scrolling is all handled by our GPU. We get a really good you know, kind of feedback here. Um, I think I had loaded up a couple of. Um, you should be able to go and get some YouTube, right? So YouTube, Star Trek. So Flash 10.1, right? If yeah. you're going to serve up a great web experience, you need Flash 10.1 support. Otherwise, there's all kinds of sites that won't be rendered properly. There's all kinds of content that just won't look right. So, so like the iPad just won't render it properly, and Nvidia's tablets will. So I think that you know our, our customers are going to have a really, really compelling, differentiated story over iPad tablets. Um, so let me just, uh, let's see, where's the YouTube version of this? So again, it's going to go out to YouTube. We're doing this live uh, over the air. And um, so basically it's going out, it's going to load up the content, and you know, you'll, we'll be able to play it, and I'll pop it up full screen once it starts to play. Are we using 3G here or 4G? Um, right now we're actually using Wi-Fi. Oh, so, okay. And again, one of the challenges even in an environment like this is so many systems all trying to compete for the airwaves. It's a uh, it's a bit of a challenge to do to do these uh, demos. Um, in a home environment, you know your uh, your network throughput is going to be awesome, and so playing these things will actually work really, really quickly, really well. Okay.